Once again, Boeing is fighting for its reputation. Six days after the side of an Alaska Airlines MAX 9 blew out in flight, forcing an emergency landing, CEO David Calhoun told employees airline confidence in Boeing is on the line. Moments like this shake them to the bone, just like it shook me. In a CNBC exclusive, Calhoun says he takes this accident very personally. I saw the picture, everybody saw the opening. But what I really saw was the empty seat. And I had spent a week with my kids and grandkids, and uh, so enough said. Out of pure luck, no one was seated next to the hull when it opened up. It's been five years since 346 people died in two MAX 8 crashes overseas. The MAX 8 was then grounded for two years. Boeing forced to pay $2.5 billion in fines and settlements. But Boeing has struggled with quality control. This MAX 9 was brand new, delivered in November, yet with a potentially fatal flaw. Investigators believe the door plug that blew out wasn't properly secured. The NTSB says four critical bolts have not been found. It's not clear if the bolts were ever attached. When Alaska and United Airlines technicians examined other MAX 9s, they found loose bolts around those door plugs, too. The fuselage for the MAX is made by Wichita-based Spirit Aerosystems, then delivered to Boeing for final assembly. We're not going to point fingers there because, yes, it escaped their factory, but then it escaped ours, too. Spirit has also struggled with quality control problems, but says, as a company, we remain focused on the quality of each aircraft structure that leaves our facilities. Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg. Are you concerned about the quality of product that Boeing is turning out, and should the American public be concerned? What I'll say is that every plane that they deliver to an airline, every plane that goes into the skies needs to be 100% safe, and they need to be able to demonstrate that. Tom, we've talked about those warning lights that went off on that very same Alaska Airlines plane. Is there yeah. any determination on whether that was connected to the part that blew off? Right now, the NTSB doesn't think so. They think that those war warnings were not related to the actual decompression explosion. While the primary sensor gave a warning, the secondary system showed no problem at all. Still, this is going to be part of the investigation, but right now they don't think that they were linked. They think it's a coincidence. Oh, interesting. Okay, Tom, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.